like over the last couple of weeks? Uh, you know, it's been an amazing feeling to be involved, especially, you know, getting back with my teammates, you know, being able to work and, you know, move forward from here on out. What were some of the things that you kind of worked on in your game to get to this point where, you know, you're kind of contributing more? Uh, you know, just studying the playbook more. That, that was the key, you know, learning different formations, learning, you know, different positions, stuff like that. Edgar? Yeah, I've been asking a couple of people at Damien Care, so I'm wondering what you got to smile. Why, why do you? Is, is he, <laughs> you one of your guys? Uh, no, sir. Well, I mean, of course. He, well, he a brother, and like he, you know, he bring great energy to the team, and you know, like mm -hmm. there's always there's like never a problem with him. You know, he's a senior. You know, he's always on top of his stuff, doing what he got to do, showing like the younger kids, such as you know myself, the role. Yeah, and I mean, how how critical is that, especially in a season that's, you know, had some real challenges? I mean, has he been kind of a steadying force? Uh, yes, sir, he has actually, you know, you know, keeping us, you know, making sure we have our head held high, you know, being positive about everything, you know, keeping a smile on our face. That's the most important thing. And last thing, how impressive a physical specimen is he? I know he's you know, Mr. The Squat Champion in there. But what, how impressive of a physical specimen is he? Um, his work ethic, you know, is very impressive. I mean, the man athletic. Yeah, athletic as hell. I can't even, you know, explain. <laughs> yeah, well, give me an example. Um, I wouldn't want to get in front of him. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's one thing you don't want to do is get in front of him. That's, <laughs> that's one person that's hard to take down one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> Okay, thank you. No problem. Graham Hall. Hey, Jamarcus, appreciate you doing this. How you doing, Graham? Appreciate I'm doing great, man. Can't complain. Yes, sir. Following off Thomas's question here, just how big was it for you to see all your hard work pay off with, with getting that touchdown on Saturday? Uh, you know, uh, the only thing I could do was thank God and, you know, be happy and celebrate it with my brothers because we all worked hard. We all, you know, put in the work. We all get to celebrate as one, as a team. Absolutely. And you, you caught one of seven touchdowns that Emory Jones had. I know this team has never lost faith in him, but how big do you think that performance could be for him moving forward, not only just his confidence, but everyone around him seeing what he can do? I mean, he had said after the game that it hadn't really hit him that he had that that 550 yard mark and and what he did what he done there. Yes, sir. Uh, my thing is, you know, just keep going, like you know, just keep leading the team the way that he's doing, and you know, just staying positive about the situation, moving forward. And it also, is one last one for me uh, here, but Coach McGee was saying that it was kind of hard for. Emery's mom to keep, keep coming to games after some of the comments that she had seen about her son's play this season. How how tough has it been for you guys to block out some of that stuff over the last six weeks here as things have kind of not gone the way you'd like it to? And and, and how um, important is it to, to not let that affect your, uh, your mental moving forward? Um, you know, just staying together as a team, you know, just being positive, blocking out all the outside. You know, Mullen's been helping us out a lot with that, you know, helping us stay strong-minded, not worrying about anything that's going on on the outside. Just focus on us as a team. Appreciate the time, Marcus. Thank you. Yes, sir. No problem. Zach Alberti. Hey, Jim Marcus. I want to kind of take you back to when you first started out at Florida. Um, you were a guy that when you signed um, – Dan Mullen kind of hyped you up in the press conference and said, like, you're one of the, his favorite players in the class. Take me back to your recruitment. What led you to Florida, and, and what do you feel like you did as in high school to kind of uh, make Mullen such a fan of you? <laughs> um, the thing that led me to Florida was, you know, it, it felt like a, a, a home environment. And... That's the only thing I wanted. I wanted to be somewhere that I felt comfortable, that I was going to be comfortable for the four years of my life that I was, you know, staying in college. And I would say what led Mullins to doing that, uh, I feel like my work ethic, you know, great character and a respectful kid. 
I was raised to be that way. And I remember something else that he also mentioned was how like you had a really low social media profile and it weren't out it wasn't a lot out there about you. Is that something intentional that you did back then? And, and, and what is kind of your thought process on handling social media? Uh, I don't really be on social media like that. I mean, it's not a big fact. It's not important. And then lastly, uh, just your progression at the position. How do you feel like that's come along? And, and what's it been like to learn from Billy Gonzalez? Uh, you know, coming in, Coach Gonzalez, you know, was very hard on me and still is. And, you know, I never really had a father figure. So I take on his role. What he, I, I look at his role as in him being my father figure. So, like, every day, like, I, I, I ask him, could he coach me his hardest? And that's what he do. Appreciate it, man. Yes, sir. No problem. Thomas? Hey, Marcus, you guys had, a, you know, the bit of the rough stretch there, but – Pulled off a win last week. Has the energy, the mood around the program been lifted a little bit because of that? Yes, sir. It has most definitely been lifted. And uh, what do you think, how do you guys kind of build on that now going on the road again? Uh, You know, just being strong-minded throughout the adversity that we're facing on from the outsiders and blocking everything out from the outside and just continue moving forward, being positive. I know you said that uh, that Dan had had talked to you guys about kind of blocking out the outside noise. Can you can you share to us kind of maybe what his message is? Like, how, I guess what is he communicating to you guys in terms of uh, you know his job, the, the the pressures that are out there, and that kind of thing. He told us, you know, go have fun and compete. That's what we've been doing our whole life, and you know we only get one shot at it, one opportunity at it. So why not go have fun and enjoy ourselves as long as we compete and go hard. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Yes, sir. Anybody else for Jamarcus? All right. Thanks, Jamarcus. Yes, sir. No problem.